Hello everyone and welcome to Huawei Connect 2020 where I'm joined by Jeff who's a technical marketing engineer here at Huawei and we're here to discuss Huawei's cloud engine network switches. So Jeff, how about you break down some of the key highlights of this product? Sure. So about this, our latest and most advanced uh, modular switch, this is uh, our cloud engine uh, 16800 series. So about this switch, I have uh, two highlights to share with you. So the first is about the capacity. So uh, from the bottom, as you can uh, see, uh, we supported the 10 gig line card, a 25 gig line card, a 40 gig, and all the way to 100 gig and 400 gig line cards. And specifically about this uh, 400 gig line card, this is one of our highlights. So as you can see from here, the single slot supports up to uh, 48 400 G ports. So with the 16 slot switch, uh, we can able to support uh, 768 400 G ports. This is the highest density uh, in the industry. And the second highlight that I want to share is uh, this switch uh, supports Huawei's air fabric solution, which is Huawei's implementation of the lossless network. So specifically, we have implemented some AI algorithms. It's called the lossless algorithms. And with this algorithm, we can achieve zero packet loss on the Ethernet. So we talked a little bit there about the high density that these switches can support. Now, how would that benefit enterprises? Uh, definitely, because as enterprise starts to use uh, technologies like virtualization and containers, the legacy physical server starts to accommodate a lot of virtual machine and containers could be even tens of even hundreds of them. So this brings a much higher pressure uh, to the data center switches in terms of the traffic. And furthermore, as we enter the 5G era, the 5G applications, virtual reality, for example, brings a much higher bandwidth requirements uh, to the data centers. So put all this together, we really need a data center network which is capable of an even higher speed from 100G to the 400G. So what are some of the key technologies that enable us to support such, high, such a high density with these switches? Uh, yeah, to enable such a high density switch, uh, there must be some cutting edge technologies. So they fall into three main categories, which is a super fast, a super power, and a super cooling. So by super fast, what we mean is we have adopted this uh, board cable behind this high density 400G part. So we have uh, incorporated some new material and also improved the uh, processing method, making the transmission efficiency improved by 30%. So by superpower, uh, what we mean is uh, to fill these big chassis, uh, we need some high density power modules. So what we do is we have enabled uh, two power inputs into this single power module. And to use this technology, we need to use the magnetic blue art uh, technology, which is can enable fast and reliable switch over uh, between these two power inputs. So overall, we can reduce uh, the space that occupy the power module by up to 50%. And the third technology is about the super cooling. So the super cooling uh, it happens on the board level and also the chassis level. So on the board level, uh, on top of the co forwarding chip, we have put the carbon nano part and the VC phase change jumper. So these two technologies together can help to cool down the cold chip's temperature by up to 10 degrees. And at the chassis level, uh, in the back, we have adopted the mixed flow fan, which is able to deliver three times the air volume comparing to normal fans. So this uh, mixed flow fan helps to cool down the whole chassis more efficiently, uh, enable to support this high density 400G uh, part and also probably even higher speed in the future. Thank you.